Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful ruffled top with V yoke neckline. You can see how beautiful this top is actually looking. You can use it for your skirt, you can use it, you can even make a gown with it. In fact, if this is what you want to learn, please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. For us to start up um, this tutorial, so I want to draft the the upper part of this dress on the on paper. Okay, so just to get the pattern, because with this pattern you can use it to make as many of these dresses as possible. Okay, for ready to wear. So now. What I need here is my shoulder line, my chest line, my underbust line, and my waist line, okay? So my waist is actually 17 inches, okay? But I added one inch to it. Then after that, you create your armhole. After that, this is your center front, and it will also serve as your center back. So on this, you'll be taking your bust area, divide by 2 by 4. Here I have 10 inches and on the waistline, I'm taking my waist circumference, divide by 4. Then I added 1 inch to it. That is why I got this 10 inches. So I'll just go ahead and do what and create the bodies. So we are going to create the neckline right now. So for the neckline, what I did was my neckline is 4 inches. Okay, so whatever your, your shoulder is, from here to here is my shoulder, divide by 2. And I added half an inch to it. So here, my neckline is four, four inches by seven inches. Okay, four by seven. That is what I'm using for this neckline. So I'll just go ahead and connect. It's a V neckline. I'll connect it. And from this point, I'm going to connect to the underboard. So that is why I have my on the bust line so what i have here is going to be on fold okay so we are going to use a different ankara fabric for here then we are going to use a stretchy fabric okay so the stretchy fabric we'll be using for here can be a scuba it can be a lacquer it can be anything you want okay so because there's no zipper to this so whatever stretchy fabric is okay for this part so we are done and I'm going to cut out this pattern and we'll use it to cut out this dress. So what I have here, we'll use it to cut both front and back. So I'm going to create the back armhole, okay? If you just really want it to sit very properly, just go ahead. From here to here, the front armhole is at three quarter and from here to here is half an inch for the back. So what I'm going to do is, when I get to this part, I'm going to cut this part, the back part first, before I create the front neckline. Alright people, so we are done and this is what this pattern looks like. So I'll just go ahead and do this. I'm going to cut this way. And I'm going to cut on the neckline, okay? So this neckline, like I said, is going to be for front and is going to be for back. So I'll now go ahead and cut what I have here. Can you see? So this pattern I've cut here, I'm going to use it to cut two different Ankara fabric. This part will be on fold. I'm going to cut four pieces of this. And this part will also be on fold when I'm going to cut the inner piece of this dress with a stretchy fabric. So I'll cut it now and we'll proceed to the next stage. So now you can see my fabric now. This is the bodies and I'm going to explain to you what I did right there on the bodies. So I have already added my seam allowance. You know this was our true waist, okay? So this top, if you want to wear it, it has to get up to the upper hip. 
and my upper hip length here is 22 inches so from the top of my shoulder to the end i have uh, here 18 so i have to add up uh, four more inches to from here to here to make up to the upper hip so you'll be able to tuck it in and wear your trouser okay so now i have one inch seam allowance so this fabric is actually a stretchy fabric as you can see right here you need a stretchy fabric because these parts we are not adding any zipper to it so it needs a, a fabric that stretches so you'll be able to wear it and it fits into your um <clears throat> your body so i've added 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch and this part is on fold so i'll just take off this pattern right now because what i have here is for back okay so remember we had one for back so i'll just take off the part that is back i'll just go in and take off the back pattern so i've taken it off so i'm going to trim off what i have on my on the armhole for the front now so i'll just trim it off okay so i'll be able to cut out the the front so the front armhole is actually um deeper so i've cut it off so i'll place it back here and reduce the armhole that is what i'm doing here so i'll place it back and reduce the armhole so of course you know I'll have to pin, pin, pin. So let me just pin and reduce. I have um, a little more inches to take off for the front. So I'll just go ahead and take it off by adding or taking off 0 0.5, as you can see. So the front neckline is usually deeper. So that's what exactly I did here. So now I will have this as my front and I'm going to make a mark at the back of it to identify the front. So once I pick this one, I will know that is the front. So we have the bodies for front and we have the bodies for back. So this is what it looks like for the part of our yoke. Okay. So this is the yoke dress or the upper part of it. I have four pieces of this yoke. Four pieces of them. One, two, three, four. You can see I marked the part, uh, the wrong part, uh, part of it. So one is for front and one is for back. So I just go ahead and put them together now. I'll go over to my machine to sew the neckline. So I'll finish up the neckline this way turn it to the right side and then give it a good press i'll do that for the both of them so that is that for this so another thing we want to talk about is if you look at this part you'll notice we had um we had them um, the sleeve from the sleeve we have uh, some ruffles you know making up the bodies and everything so to achieve that part this is what you are going to do I'll be using this part. I'm talking about this part of this yoke. I'll measure what I have on this part of this yoke. Here I have 15 inches. So 15 inches, I'm going to multiply 15 inches by 4. Okay, because this will go this way. What I mean by 4 is going to run this way. For the front that is two times and for the back it will run like this that is two times that's why i'm multiplying what i have here by four so if i do that i'll be having 60 inches so this 60 inches right now i'm going to multiply it again by three to make up the ruffles so i'll be having 180 inches so this 100 and my ankara which i'm using now i'm using two yards so what you will do is once you get the two yards, you can see I place the two yards on fold. I'll go ahead and measure from the top of it as it is on fold. 
from here to here i'll measure 15 inches okay i'll measure and get 15. from there i will cut measure another 15 i will cut so for these two years i'm going to have three of them and i'll join the the three of them together that's exactly what, what i'm calculating so i'll do that now and join them together and make the ruffles and so i'm done cutting now and um, the width of the Ankara is 15 inches as you can see and it's two yards okay two yards you can see it's on full so I have to cut just bring two yards and cut it into three places so I'll just go ahead and start joining them I'm going to join them from end to end because they are all 15 15 inches Ankara comes in three inches uh, three yards so when you get two yards of Ankara, cut it into three places at 15, 15 inches width. You have three pieces of this. This is the third one. So I'm going to join them now and I'm going to make gathers. Okay, I'll just make gathers. So I'm done sewing this right now. So I'm going to make a notch. So I have to stitch on the wrong side. So I'm making my notch. You can see my stitches here. I'll just make a notch to that point. But please be careful you don't cut it out. Then you can just make easy. So I'll just go and make a top stitch. Okay, so I'm going to top stitch on this side. I'll just choose one to be the lining and I'll top stitch on it now. So I'm going to do the same now to this. So once we are done, we'll start gathering on this. Okay, so. Alright, so now I've top stitched and I've turned to the right side. So these are my top stitches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring the two shoulder lines together. So I'll just open it up, open up this. Then I'm going to stitch from end to end this way. I'll do that. So now I'm done top stitching. And I've joined the shoulder seam lines. You can see them. I have to open them up and give it a good press. Okay, so that's how you, you have to. That part is supposed to be. So this is the back where I top stitched. So this is it. So now I'm going to. I've already gathered my. Uh, some part of my two yards which I, I hemmed. Okay. So, I'm going to sew the gathers now, okay? So, I'll just go to the machine and I'll turn this way. So, I'm going to make gathers for the, the rest of it. So, I'll start from the shoulder line. I'm going to sew around and I've gathered it into the dress. <clears throat> so, this is it. I have to sew all the way this way to the neckline so the next thing we want to do now we are going to determine which parts because they are actually looking the same so i'm going to determine which part i want to be my front dress so i want this part to be my front dress so i'll now come in with the bodies so the part i marked if you remember when we are cutting this i marked it to be the front okay so i'll just raise up this to sew the front so the front dress i'm going to place it this way because it will actually so i'm going to it's supposed to be like this this way can you see so if this is the wrong side this is the right side then this is supposed to be sewn to this so i'll just flip it this way i believe you saw what i did here so just follow the video instruction you are going to get it so i'll go ahead now can you see i'll secure with my pin and i'll follow these stitches now i'll follow them to sew in this till i terminate wherever it stops i'll stop i will again start from here and sew wherever it stops also i'm going to stop so i'll do that for the other side to the back part all right so now 
I'm done sewing the bodies, so you can see the bodies is inside the dress. So I have to flip it this way and stitch from end to end. So I did that for the back as well. So this is the armhole of this dress. Normally, I'll just go and sew the sides, okay? By turning everything, I'm turning everything to the inner side and I'm going to sew off one inch. I will do that for the other side and we are done. All right, so this is what the inside looks like. You can see the bodies and this is the yoke. So once I turn it now, we have the front dress, okay? So when I turn it now, you can see we have the front dress. So this is where the dress stops at 22 inches. It's how to go about it. So you can now go ahead and weave the inside of the dress, okay? These rough edges, you can go ahead and weave it all over, okay? So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye